Christina, you look powerful. All good. How you doing? Good. How are you? One more after session. So all sweaty. All sweaty, Betty. Uh, Christina, you're going to tell us a wee bit about your time uh, here at Elite because you haven't left us. What's been going on? <laughs> <laughs> you stuck around to, to train with us after your course because how long ago did you do your course? Um, oh. Started in January, what was it, 18 weeks? Yeah, so you finished, finished. yeah, you are finished what, six weeks ago? Yeah. Still here, still killing it? Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, what were you doing before you came to Elite? Uh, I was in Australia for nearly seven years and started in my home and we've been in the building what to do, we've been in the um, working at the minute in Special needs here for children. Right, okay. I love it, I love working with kids, but uh, during that I was also on my own, sort of week off and fitness journey. Managed to do a few bit of weights, and while doing that, I just realised that I love fitness, love being in the gym, um, but I didn't know what I was doing. Didn't have a clue, lifting that weight, what was I doing, what muscle was I working. Um, and I sort of had in my mind what sort of body shape I wanted to get into, and a lot of people told me about the course here, so I thought I would give it a go. Sweet. Um, what were what were you apprehensive about before coming on to a course? Because we were talking just off camera there about uh, you were worried that you possibly weren't going to get a return on your investment. Yeah, uh, for me it was just spending money on something that I didn't know what was going to happen afterwards. So okay. Investing money. Okay. Did yeah. you get a return of your investment on a course? No. Okay. Sweet. No. Happy days. Um, and what was your decision to, uh, sorry, what drove your decision to stay on afterwards and train here at the gym? Um, personally, for myself, when I first came home, uh, I've been through a lot of gyms and a lot of different PTs, and myself, I well, I'm been committed to have work, and I thought, what is the best place to be coaching PTs? Here By the person to be, <laughs> to be a coach for PT. Right, okay, okay. So I thought they really can't fuck this up. Right, okay. Glad to hear that. Uh, so what has been the I suppose what's been the specific results from you? Both from your time on the course and then your time after the course. Um I think when I first started the course, the first thing I said was confidence. I just want a confidence just to walk into a gym and not feel intimidated. So for me, confidence, confidence to go in and know what you're doing, um, which is going to be important when you're coaching someone, you need to be confident in teaching them as well. Absolutely. Them. Um, that's going to be a big thing for me. Knowledge as well, and just knowing how to lift the weight and what that weight is doing to your body, to me, was one of the biggest things. Love it. Um, and you have lost a uh, stone of weight. Stone of weight. Love it. Absolutely. Still going. <laughs> still, going. <laughs> still on the journey. Yeah. Before enduring, um, and you're also, I'm going to prompt you now, you want to start coaching people now because you're ready? Yes. So you're going to start yes. doing that there. Well, yeah. Wor working, if anyone wants to work with you, where can they find you? Christina Landrum on Instagram or Facebook. Give me an ad or add me, and um, yeah, we'll go for that. Absolutely. Uh, final question Who would you recommend do this course? To be honest, anyone. Um, I think I said when I first did the course, oh, I don't know if I want to actually be a PT. Um, now I'm like, I cannot even get started. But if, if you just don't feel confident going into the gym and don't feel confident in what you're doing, do the course. It's taught me everything that I need to know. Um, that's why I stuck around. So I got hybrid. <laughs> Love it. Thank you so much. No worries.